Welcome. Thanks for joining me. Today's practice is going to be a kneeling practice. We're going to go through the majority of the poses that you would do standing, but with one knee on the ground. So it will be a little bit more challenging for balance sometimes. Um, if you have sensitive knees, definitely have a blanket or some padding that you can put under your knees so that you are feeling a little bit more comfortable for your knees. And we are going to start in a seated position. So take whatever comfortable seat is best to you. Go ahead and sit up nice and tall, allow the shoulders draw down the back, and let the eyes close. Bring yourself into the room, onto your mat, and into your body. Scanning of the body and mind, checking in, acknowledging what you need out of your practice today. Allowing your breath to always be your guide. And starting to set an intention for your practice today. Maybe to be in the present moment, maybe to honor your body, whatever it might be, start to let that take form in your mind's eye. And bring your hands to your heart. We'll set that intention as we open the practice together with one ohm or a sigh out of your mouth. Take a full inhale through the nose. Keeping the eyes closed, let the hands come back down to the thighs. Wherever you are in that breathing cycle, exhale fully. Take a full inhale, one, two, three. Exhale, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Exhale, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Last time, inhale. Exhale. As you inhale, let your eyes blink open. And as you exhale, roll forward onto your hands and knees. Starting with a few rounds of cat cow, keeping that breath. Inhale, let the shoulders roll back, gaze goes up. Exhale, press and round. Two more times. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. One more time. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. Inhale, comes to neutral spine. As you exhale, walk your knees back slightly and then start to walk those hands forward. Imagine you're doing downward facing dog, but on your knees. Sit bones lift, chest drops down, arms are active. Press down and forward and then draw those shoulder blades away from the ears. Let the head drop toward the floor. Lifting up through those hips. Maybe start to lengthen the chest closer to the floor. Take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifts the heart. Exhale, walks those hands back underneath the shoulders. Take your left knee, bring it to the center line. Take your right leg, extend it long. Good. From here, inhale, press down into those hands. And then as you exhale, round the spine, draw knee to nose. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen, maybe left arm lengthens. Exhale, round. One more time, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, hand down, knee down, bring the knees wide, come to child's pose. Take a couple breaths there, press down and forward into the hands, look toward the hands, find a little openness in the chest, sink back down into those hips, exhale fully. Inhale, presses yourself forward. Exhale this time, right knee to the center line, left leg goes long. Good. As you inhale, press into those hands. And then exhale, round the spine. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, round. Inhale, lengthen, maybe right arm lengthens. Exhale, round, keeping the balance. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, round. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, hand down, knee down, knees wide, child's pose. Take a couple deep breaths here. This time, draw the top of the head toward the floor. Keep reaching through the arms, but round the spine. Draw the belly up and in. Round those shoulders forward. And then inhale, look forward, lengthen out like cow pose. Exhale, press back, hands and knees. Good, from here you're gonna take that right leg, extend it back. Exhale, draw it out to the side and then step it forward in front, coming with your foot between your hands. Good, so you're staying on that back knee. Inhale, takes those arms up. Exhale, relax the shoulders. Take another inhale here. And as you exhale, cactus arms twist to the right. Inhale, lengthen back, arms back up. Exhale, open twist to the left. Inhale up. As you exhale, right hand down, left arm over. Inhale, brings those arms back up. As you exhale, let the hips drop forward. As you lift the chest, tailbone drops, belly pulls up. Another big inhale. Exhale, hands to the floor. Good. From here, press the hips back. Lift the right arm, step that right knee back. As you inhale, reach those arms forward, look forward, and then exhale, press the hips back. Inhale, lift. Exhale, walk those hands back underneath the shoulders. Inhale, takes that left leg, reach it back. Exhale, draws it out to the side, step it between the hands. Now let those hips drop forward. And then on your inhale, take those arms up. Exhale there. Draw up through the low belly, lengthen the sideways. And on your next exhale, rotate to the left. Inhale, open, or lift and up. Exhale, open toward the right. Inhale, lifts those arms up. As you exhale, left arm down, right arm over. Inhale, brings you back up. As you exhale, bend a little deeper into that front knee. Lift the chest, draw up through the low belly. Take another inhale there. And exhale, hands to the floor. Good, drawing that left knee back. Walk the hands forward, lift the chest, look forward, think a little bit of cow pose. Exhale, press the hips back, then downward facing dog arms. Inhale, lifts the chest. Exhale, walks those hands back underneath. Good, pausing there, adding on a little bit. Inhale, right leg leg sends back. Exhale, draw that right knee forward. Good, from here, you're going to stay with your back knee facing forward. Inhale, takes those arms up again. Anjane Asana. Good, take an inhale here. And then as you exhale, straighten that front leg, hands to your hips. Wiggle that front leg forward so that your back hip and knee are in line. And then draw the toes back. Hands can stay at hips. Maybe they come to blocks. Just hinge forward here. All right, so a little bit of Runner's lunge, you can use that front leg. So it's a half Hanumanasana, or runner's lunge. Good, and you can always play with the foot pointing and flexing, drawing some fight from side to side. Good, and make sure you're pushing down into the heel and then also drawing that heel back to engage the hamstring. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, bend into the knee. Plant those hands. Lift the chest, take an inhale, reach the arms. Exhale, cactus arms to the right. And then left arm comes down, find a twist. Press down, open up. Draw the shoulder blades onto the back. Good, nice full breaths. Pressing down to that bottom hand as you roll the shoulders back. Maybe top arm reaches overhead. Take another breath there. And as you exhale, circle that hand to the floor. Inhale, and on your exhale, step the right knee back. As you inhale, walk the hands forward, look forward. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, walk those hands back underneath the shoulders. Inhale, left leg reaches back. Exhale, step it between the hands. Let those hips drop forward. Inhale, bring yourself up, that low lunge. Exhale there. Good, as you inhale, straighten that front leg. Exhale, hands to your hips. Maybe walk that foot forward and draw the toes back. 
So get into the front, the back side of the leg here, getting into the front of the foot. And then if it's okay, start to hinge forward. So again, you have your blocks here. Maybe you can reach the floor, but be mindful not to round the spine, lengthen forward. Imagine you're drawing that heel back. Any movement you did on the other side, side to side, forward and backward with that foot. Two more breaths, keeping your balance. Another big breath here. Exhale. Good, as you inhale, bend into that front knee. Exhale, hands to the ground. And then inhale, takes those arms back up again. Exhale, cactus arms to the left. And as you inhale, take that right hand down, left arm up. Take an inhale, open the chest. And exhale here. Good, rolling the shoulders back. Maybe start to take that top arm overhead. Maybe a nice twist. Another big inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, circles it to the floor. Pause there as you inhale. Exhale, stepping that left foot back. Inhale, walks the hands forward. Exhale, bowing forward. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, walk those hands back. Good, adding on just a little bit, some open hip clap poses. Inhale, takes that right leg out behind you. Exhale, step that foot forward. Inhale, come up on Janayasana to start. And then as you exhale, bring your hands to your heart, open yourself up. So you're gonna take that back leg and turn toward the side. So find your balance. Your front knee is stacked right over that front ankle. Good, and you're stacking your hips, opening up that right knee. And then take the arms up like warrior two, Virabhadrasana two. So you can stay here, you can walk that foot forward more, start to bend a little more deeply into that front knee, but always keeping knee over ankle. Good, breathing there. Press down, imagine you're drawing your heel toward your back knee, getting those inner thighs engaged. And then reverse the warrior, take that top arm, reach it back. By lengthen that right sideways. Keep bending into the front knee and drawing that front knee toward the right. Take an inhale. Exhale, back warrior two. Inhale, find side angle, maybe elbow to thigh, or maybe because you're lower to the ground, you can find yourself grabbing onto the ankle or to the inside ground of your foot. Open the chest, lift the top arm either straight up or overhead. If it feels okay, bend a little deeper into that front knee, getting a deeper inner thigh stretch. Good, one more big inhale. Exhale. Press into that front leg, inhale brings you back up warrior two. As you exhale, straighten that front leg. Point through the toes, so the toes are gonna point down. Square the hips, and then lean over, gate pose. Good, finding that length of the sideways. Breathing there. Good. Draw the hips slightly forward. If it cramps too much in the toe, you can push into the heel. Take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, bend you into that front knee slightly. As you exhale, come back up. Straighten that front leg again. And then you're gonna take your left hand, you're gonna drop it down to the back of your mat. So your left hand's gonna drop back. If you need a block or a book, place that under. And then take those right toes, draw them down. Good, so you're in a little bit of a side plank variation. Press the hips forward. Open the chest. Maybe you find your balance and start to hover that back leg. Think half moon pose, but on your knee. Good, can you challenge your balance and even look up to that top leg? Maybe you even take a bind, you bend your top leg, and then you grab the foot, and then find a little bit of a back bend. Gonna take another breath. If you're in the bind, release it. Exhale, press that right foot into the ground. Take an inhale, open, and then exhale, take that top arm, reach it overhead, lift up to those right ribs. Another big inhale there. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Bend into that left elbow as you exhale, press yourself up. Rotate the right toes back out, find your warrior two. Take an inhale. Exhale, cartwheel the hands to the floor. Good, pivot the foot back to your mat. Take that right foot, step it back. Inhale, lengthens those arms out. Exhale, chest to floor. Inhale, lifts the heart. 
Exhale, walk those hands back underneath. Second side. Inhale, takes that left leg extended back. Exhale, step it forward. So I'm going to show you from the back side here. Inhale, brings yourself up. As you exhale, open it up. Find warrior two. So you're going to see what the back side looks on this warrior two. All right, so I'm lining up my knees. I'm stacking knee over ankle, my arms are wide, I'm opening to the right side of my mat. My back toe can be tucked or flat, whatever's best for my balance. Good, and then maybe I bend a little deeper into that front knee. Relax the shoulders, and then reverse that warrior. Take that top arm up and back, keeping your balance by bending a little deeper, finding length in that left sideways. Gaze can be forward or up. Take an inhale, and exhale back to warrior two. From here, that side angle pose. Hand can go either elbow to thigh, up and over. Maybe that's too close. So hand comes down to block, or maybe the floor. Maybe you bend a little deeper into that front knee. Press the hips forward as you roll the shoulders back. Finding that stretch from armpit to hip, from hip to knee. Take one more full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. Exhale, press yourself back up, warrior two. Good, pausing there. And then from here, you're gonna tip yourself back to the back of your mat again. So toward the back of your mat. You're gonna drop that right hand down, turn your left toes toward the right. Heel and knee in line, finding that half moon variation, right side plank. And then lean into that right arm as you lift the left leg. Press the hips forward. And if it feels okay, top knee's gonna bend, reach back for the foot. Press foot into hand, find a little back bend. Keep drawing it through the belly. Good, take another inhale. Exhale, release the bind if you have it. Inhale, presses that left foot down, press into the pinky edge. Press the hips forward and then take that top arm overhead. Really find length, space here. Take another inhale, open the chest. Exhale. Inhale, top arm reaches. As you exhale, bend into that right elbow and press yourself up. Good. And then from here, going into that triangle pose, over, leaning over to that gate pose. Good, pressing the toes straight away from you. If that's too much, draw back into the heel. Press the hips forward and lean it over. Good, take another couple breaths here. Finding length in that right side waist. Inhale, brings yourself back up. Exhale, bend into that front knee for your warrior two. Take an inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the hands down, square the hips, bring that right knee back to the, or right foot back to the mat. And then step it back. Inhale, reaches those arms forward. Exhale, drop the chest. Inhale, lifts you up. And exhale, find child's pose. Take a couple deep breaths there. Checking in, noticing how your hips, your hamstrings feel. Tuning in with the breath, slowing it down if it's caught and rushed. Feeling free to pause this here and repeat through that one more time each side if you feel like you have a little bit more time or if you'd like to do it again to get more practice from your knees. Otherwise, on your next inhale, take your arms out, look up. Exhale, shift the weights forward, bringing yourself all the way down onto your mat. Sitting in Baddha Konasana. Sitting, maybe you need to sit up on a little cushion. Soles of your feet are going to come together. Take a nice big inhale, lift the chest. And then exhale, start to lengthen forward. A little deeper stretch on those inner thighs. Pressing the soles of the feet together as you draw your outer hips down and away. Exhale fully here. Inhale, lift and lengthen. As you exhale, take one leg out at a time. Come into that wide leg forward fold, Uttavishta Konasana. 
So that nice and tall lift up through the chest. Hands might come just behind you and then start to hinge forward. Drawing in through the low belly. Your inner thighs are spiraling down and back. Your kneecaps are spiraling up. Your toes are drawing back and your heart is lengthening forward. Two more breaths here. One more full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, back to center. Help underneath those knees. Draw those feet in. And then from here, you're going to lay down onto your back. Coming all the way down. We're going to do one bridge pose. And then a twist and then into Shavasana. Placing those feet hip distance and parallel and reach toward your heels. Inhale, lift those hips. Exhale, bend the elbows, lift those hips up toward your hands. Walk those shoulder blades closer toward your spine and then send your knees forward as you imagine drawing your heels back, squeezing knees toward one another and then lifting those hips, sending the tailbone toward your knees. Press the back of the head into the floor. Maybe go a little deeper, interlink those hands behind the back. Wind those shoulder blades under. Press those pinky edges down to open the chest more. Another full inhale. And exhale. Inhale, unwind those shoulders. Exhale, slowly lower the hips. Taking your feet and shifting your hips over to the right. Take your arms out like cactus, draw your knees up to your chest, and then drop both knees over to the left. Coming into a twist. Send that right hip down and away to the end of your mat. Let your right shoulder be heavy. Maybe even that left hand presses on top of that right thigh. If it's okay for your neck, maybe look over toward your right hand. Breath nice and full. Exhale fully. Engage the belly as you inhale, draw the knees up. Exhale, shift the hips to center. Inhale, shift the hips to the left. Exhale, draw the knees into the chest. As you inhale, lower those knees over to the right. Exhale, let that left shoulder be heavy. Press that left hip down and away toward the end of your mat, creating space between your hip and lowest rib. And if it feels okay, look over that left shoulder. Let your breath guide you deeper into the twist. And exhale fully. Engage the core. Inhale, draw those knees back up. Exhale, feet to the floor. Inhale, hips back to center. As you exhale, squeeze the knees in, round the spine, bring forehead to knees. Releasing the head down. Knees go wide, find happy baby. Draw the knees out wide, flex the feet to the ceiling, rock a little bit from side to side. And then pause there, draw the knees, squeeze them into the sideways, lengthen tailbone toward the end of the mat as you press your heels toward the ceiling, find a little bit of contraction in the muscles. And once again, rock a little bit from side to side. Taking those legs, give them a little shake. Then slowly release those feet to the ground, extending those legs out. Let your toes drop out to the side. Let your palms turn up. Draw those shoulder blades onto the back. Release any hair bands that might be in your hair. And allow yourself to get out any little wiggles, propping yourself up with anything you need to rest comfortably. Allow yourself to take Shavasana here for a few moments in silence. Before we end, we'll do one sigh. Wherever you are in your breathing cycle, exhale fully. Taking a nice full inhale, let the belly rise. Ribs and chest expand. Hold the breath at the top. Allow all those good sensations to settle in. And then opening the mouth, sigh out anything that's not going to serve you today. 
Let every stress, worry, and care go. Let your breathing come back to normal. Laying here for a few more moments in silence, in stillness, in Shavasana. for a few more minutes if you have the time. Otherwise, on your next breath, let it come in a little deeper. And as you exhale, bring some movement into the fingers and toes, maybe even the wrists and ankles. On your next breath, reach your arms back behind your head, slide your feet together, give yourself a long stretch. And then slowly bend the knees, maybe do a little windshield wiper with those legs, dropping the knees to the right and to the left. And when you're ready, using your arm as a pillow, roll over to your favorite side. Pause there for a moment. Check in mentally, physically. Allow yourself just to roll over toward that favorite side, curling down toward the ground. And then taking that top leg extended out, press in with that top hand. Slide the bottom hand in, coming up mindfully sideways. And then finding a comfortable seat using whatever you need to help your hips lift, seeing so whatever fashion feels best to you. Once you're there, close your eyes, bring your hands to your heart center. Allow yourself once again to come into the room, onto your mat, and into your body. Allowing yourself to reconnect with that intention that you've set for your practice. Allowing the strength, the energy, and especially the breath of this practice help you with that intention as you step off your mat and into the rest of your day. We'll close our practice together with one final ohm. Take a nice full inhale. Ooh. Bow your head slightly. Take a moment thinking of one thing in your life that you truly are grateful for. And holding on to that image in your mind's eye as you raise your head with a smile. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for taking care of yourself. Drink lots of water, eat your veggies, and wear some sunblock. We'll see you next time. Namaste.